Hi, I'm Paul Barry. Welcome to Media Bites. And after pinging Adelaide's Triple M Monday night for some casual racism... You come down, boys, this week, cos I have got... British kangaroo and black bean sauce on the menu. This oh, beautiful. Right. Breaky hosts Rue and Ditz were still laughing the next day. Well, sort of. And we start on Media Watch last <laughs> night on the ABC. Don't take the mickey out of that. That was bad. We got in trouble. <laughs> yeah, that was unbelievable. Mm, not good. Yep, sure wasn't. And nor was this headline from Vice News. A cargo ship drew a giant dick pic in the ocean, then got stuck in the Suez Canal. Yeah, the 200,000 ton ship that is... It's as long as the Empire State Building is tall. ...got jammed tight across the Suez Canal. But Vice News was far more interested in the ship's route beforehand, which looked like a giant dick pic, and arguably a pair of ass cheeks too. Seriously, a story only a man could write. And to illustrate the point, Vice had a video of the ship's course from the website Vessel Finder revealing, well, you know what. And did the world's media love the phallic angle? You bet they did, with the sun calling it a dick move. <laughs> Honestly, dick brains. So now, let's say good day to Ant Middleton, star of Seven's SAS Australia. Remember him? Shut the fuck up for two seconds. He hopes that you're fucking running this afternoon. Not a guy you'd easily forget. Move! Fucking turn your back on the fucking rank. Get down and crawl back to me. Hey? Hey? Who the fuck are you haying? Yes, Ant is in Australia for a speaking tour and a new season of swearing and shouting. But in the UK, the British show has dumped him over his, quote, personal conduct, with claims he made lewd and suggestive comments to four female staffers and allegedly told a female contestant he was going to have sex with her. Middleton told Good Morning Britain he was leaving anyway and it was all a beat-up. You want to say a few days wins? <laughs> you know, we, we say inappropriate things, we, um, we, do, in, we do inappropriate things. But with Sex and Sleaze on the agenda here, the folks at Seven were busting to ask him about it. Uh, weren't they? Tell us what audiences can expect from your upcoming tour. Are you going to be yelling at everyone or are you going to be nice? <laughs> <laughs> yes, a four minute plug for SAS Australia and the speaking tour and not a tough question in sight. And the next day on Seven's The Morning Show, it was just the same with Larry and Kylie. New season of SAS Australia will start filming soon and Kylie is ready to rumble. Are you ready, Kylie? Are you, are you two coming on the show? Yes, well, never most in of a million are. years, yes. <laughs> <laughs> no tough questions there either. Just a shameless puff for the man that Channel 4 doesn't want on its show at all. Come on, guys. Who dares wins? Nothing up. Take him on. And speaking of which, remember... This, last week, from Peter Credlin. I know who you are. I see you. Credlin was eyeballing those naughty staffers caught wanking and sharing pics in Parliament House. But viewers on Insiders last Sunday might have noticed what looked like um, a return of serve. I know quite a few people who have been badly bullied um, in Parliament House by people in very powerful positions. Mmm, I wonder who she's talking about. They see you, they know you, and you will be brought to account. Wow, sounds like a threat. Now, Nikki Sava was once press secretary to Peter Costello. And five years ago, she wrote The Road to Ruin, how Tony Abbott and Peter Credlin destroyed their own government. Flattering it was not. So we can only guess that she was doing this to you know who, who famously ruled with a rod of iron. Anyone inside the office who offered an alternative view was slowly um, isolated and then eliminated. We can't wait for the next elimination round. It could be explosive. But now to the courts. Here we go. <laughs> oh! Great job! <laughs> oh yeah, so close! But uh, when it comes to US reporters shooting hoops, this one is still our favorite. Sean Gallagher trying out for the Globetrotters. <laughs> hey, what do you say about that? <laughs> I'm done working at TMJ4. Uh, a moment of magic that's hard to beat. And we'll be back after Easter. But there's plenty more Media Bites and Media Watch on our social media channels if you need your media fix. And we'll be back uh, next week.